Hello and welcome to lesson 56 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA. In lesson 55, we dealt with how to uh, assign conditional formatting to the status of each student here. The conditional formatting that will show whether a student has paid his or her school fees or the conditional formatting that will show whether a student is now going to pay his or her school fees. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to refer data from the student detail sheet to the fees payment database system. So let's quickly locate the student details sheet here. So we have the student detail sheet here. So what we are going to do is we are going to insert some names here. So this one should be Ama Ama J. This one is going to be uh, Kweku John like that. This one is going to be uh, Ado Wise like this. Then this one is going to be Juliana Juliana K like this. So the date uh, let's duplicate this date here like this uh, date of admission uh, duplicate this one to the admission fee let's try to duplicate that one to as well okay so control s to save your work now let's go back to the fees payment database system let's open that particular section then let's select all this here let's select all this then we clear them so clear content like this so we have everything up and running here let's clear this one too so you select all then you right click then you click on clear content like that Good. So we are going to refer the data from the student detail sheet onto this particular fees payment database table. So you insert your equal to sign like this. Then we go to the student details sheet here. Then we are going to select the first admission number. Please check this thing well. We are going to select the first admission number here. Then we hit enter good so what we need to do is to click on the first admission number there then you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end like that please have you seen that the name the class the gender everything is appearing there now we are going to select it again left click and hold then you drag it downwards we are dragging it to the last student so let's see how it is going to appear here. Good. So you see 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 appearing. The zeros are appearing because there is no data in that particular section. There is no name. There is no class. There is no gender. There is no admission date. There is no fees. That is why you see the 0, 0, 0, 0 recurring there. Okay. So the space here is not enough so let's try to expand it a little bit okay let's try to expand this one to a little bit then the admission date good so i think we are having something special now so let's just control s to save our work please don't forget to save your work so control s to save your work like this okay so now the fees for the various classes are now appearing here so we can see the fees for each class here so kofi oko belongs to kg1 and the fees for kg1 is 200 ghana cities amake belongs to basic 2 and is a female then the fees for basic 2 is 350 ghana cities 
then the second person again the, the, the third person again Kweku John basic 2 350 Ghana CDs otherwise basic 3 400 Ghana CDs Juliana K basic 1 which is 300 Ghana CDs so please control S to save your work don't forget to save your work so let's check the status of these particular students okay okay so let's clear contents here let's try to clear these contents so you right click then clear contents okay so that is what we have here now so let's just control us to save our work and go back to the official fees payment receipt and let's see what will happen so let's go to student number one student number one here then we search good so we have this up and running here we have this up and running here so it means the student is now going to pay the the balance that the student is owing is 200 ghana cities and when you check the status it's unpaid so the student is now going to pay his or her fees okay so that is how we refer data from the student detail sheet to the student fees payment database system so we don't want this video to be long we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 57 so thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for all and don't also forget to share this video with your friends to also benefit from us on this channel in our next lesson we are going to work on the admission receipt so please make it a point to watch that particular video we are going to work on this particular admission receipt in the next lesson so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching let's meet in that interesting lesson bye bye